Hello everyone, I'm Spin the Leak, and uh, do you notice anything different, sound-wise? I'm trying out a new headset that I borrowed from my friend. There goes Pavel sitting again. Is it going to delay whenever it pops up the message? Come on. Let's just, come on. Let me do stuff. There we go. Apparently it's an issue with day 16. Let's see what's going on. Tired, hungry, hungry, hungry and tired. Oh, we got enough to feed everyone, so let's go ahead and get that underway. But yeah, no, uh... A buddy of mine has let me test out his mic so I can determine whether I want to purchase the same one or not. I don't know exactly what kind it is, I don't know the brand, I don't know how it works, anything like that. But, uh, hey, I'm giving it a whirl, and so far it seems to be working pretty well. Let's make two. I'm only going to feed two people today. And I think... Bruno never eats, does he? I never feed Bruno. Maybe it's because he's a bitch. Anyway, I'm gonna feed, a uh, Cat and Pavel. But yeah, no, it's... It's odd living with your best friend, I'll put it that way. Actually, the entire time I've known this guy, it's been odd. Me and him... Met in elementary school. Oh, god, um... Cats are going crazy in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. That's another thing. I'm curious to see what the feedback on this is gonna be. But, uh, me and him met in elementary school, and his first words to me were, I fucking hate your guts, don't come anywhere near me. You know, that kind of gives you an idea of how things started out between us. It wasn't until freshman year in high school where we had a class together and both ended up singing a song about prostitutes. I'll post a link to that song in the description down below. Uh, where the friendship kind of started. And, you know, it's been about, what, seven years now? And dude's living with me, dating my sister, and... You know, things are same as always. Of course, if you live with someone long enough or get to know him well enough, you're going to find things that make you want to just rip their throat out. There have been days where me and him just want to stand across from each other and stab each other repeatedly with soldering irons, but... I mean, that's that's kind of coming with the territory. But yeah, no, all, all in all, like, hopefully I'll have him in a few YouTube videos, but... I mean, he's kind of finicky when it comes to games. He's never really sure what he wants to play. I spend a lot of time talking about my friends, don't I? Maybe it's because I'm such a boring person. Could be. Could be. Cool outside, clouds, possibility. Oh, rainfall. Okay, so we're starting to get further and further into winter, so I'm glad I got that heater set up. Oh, rebel and government forces are engaged in violent skirmishes throughout the city. Oh no! Some areas have been completely cut off, while others witness heavy fighting. Hmm. All right, so we got those two sleeping. I guess I can go ahead and feed Bruno. How much will that bring us down to two food? It's been difficult finding food recently, hasn't it? It's been difficult finding anything recently with the fighting moving. Hmm. I guess we'll try to get more water going. Just, yeah, let's make some filters. But yeah, so far, um, I just did a really quick sound check before starting this video, and it sounded way better than my uh, little tier one tactical mic. It's one of those ones that hugs your neck, and that's where it retrieves the volume from. It wasn't working too well for me, because uh, any time I would do any movement, it would start, you know, garbling my voice and messing up. You'd hear little skips in it. I'm just not a fan of that, and I need to be active while I'm talking. I need to be moving. I move my hands. I move my head. I do all sorts of things. And that was just really screwing me over. I'm gonna quickly sip my coffee. That was odd. My controller disconnected. Mm. Hopefully everything's still going strong, though. Give me a second to check the recording. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Wait, why are you moving? Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. She's still sleeping. We expect anyone today? No? Day 16. I never really thought I'd make it this far, to be honest. Eh, your stomach's rumbling, I don't care. That's another thing, I couldn't do ridiculous voices on the other mic. 
it all either sounded the same or doing the voice and like the motion that would coincide with it because whenever I do voices I do specific motions and stuff like that it helps me kind of get in character but it really screwed me over when I tried to pull that off and it always sounded terrible that chair's got oh you're doing good hey you're doing good all right, so at this point, everyone's waking up. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's sitting in a comfy chair, you bitch. That's supposed to be Bruno's. He's the one who stays here all night and guards your ass. Uh, we're going to need a couple lockpicks, actually. Because, um... Looking at the way things were with the church, I can't really make any saws, and I don't have enough components to go ahead and get started towards making one and do upgrades, so... I... Depending on what's going on, we might have to rob someone. You know? Kind of thinking about taking inventory, seeing what we have, and depending on where we can go is where we're going to rob. I don't want to go to the supermarket, but if I have to, I have to. I mean, I'm... I don't think we're going to make it to day 20 on this, if I'm completely honest, because this is wherever things start getting difficult and you have to make decisions, they'll start depressing everyone. Uh, and people will start giving up because you have to do so much so close together. And uh, I'm already thinking about my next Let's Play. I'm thinking about whether you guys actually want me to continue my Bloodborne, uh, Bloodborne playthrough. Sorry, a little bit of a flub there. Or if I should just start a playthrough of Seven Days to Die. Or maybe I should... Uh, I, I love From Software. I might buy Dark Souls 3 and play it in front of you guys. I, I don't know. I just don't. I'm unsure. But, uh... I mean, Seven Days to Die is kind of my fallback. You saw a little bit of it whenever I did my first video, the one where I kind of skipped between a bunch of games. You've all seen it. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's what actually got your attention and led you to this channel, if anything did at all. But, uh, yeah, no, it's one of those games where I'd probably end up just doing one initial video. Actually, this is a good time to go ahead and look over what I have. Doing one initial video to kind of say, you know, these are the basics of the game. Because whenever I start playing it, I want to be playing it. I don't want to sit there and have to discuss the mechanics. I don't want to have to think that hard about it. I'm still new to this. My commentary is still lackluster. Um, I'll probably do an entire video dedicated to explaining how the game works, uh, showing off a little bit of combat, showing off a little building, a little bit of harvesting, talking about some specific mixtures and different things you can craft. Let's see, my wood's looking great, but my components, that's what's killing us. Um, I think water just came in. Yeah, we might have to rob someone, unless someone comes to trade, but then again, we don't really have anything of value. Oh, we got some new areas. Okay, um... Sheld School. Let's see what's up with the school. Food, materials, weapons, parts. Possible... Sh it's danger. Okay. Been to St. Mary's. Let's see what's up at the hotel. Caution and advise. Huge amount of food, some materials, blah, blah, blah. Occupied by some armed thugs. Screams are sometimes... Oh. I can't get to the hotel because of fighting. Uh, I also can't get to the garage. The... Mm. I'll probably just arm up and go to the hotel. If I'm being completely honest. Should I have someone... I mean, I'm on edge. So I'm going to have you guard scavenge, and both of you are going to guard tonight. Um, I'm going to be taking... I'm going to be taking my lockpicks. I'm definitely going to be taking a knife. Because there's nothing really I can trade. I don't want to just start stabbing the people at the church. Here, it seems like there are people that are dangerous. Um, so there should be a decent reward. And you guys will finally get to see some combat. Um, this might end up being a long video because of how cautious I'll have to be here. One moment while I sip my coffee. Oh, drop my controller. Right, shall former self. All right, so let's see what's this way. This is the exit. All right. So let's climb up real quick. 
Okay. Probably should have brought a shovel because we got debris blocking our path here. I can't go down. I can't go up. Okay, so far no signs of any other life. I'm going to peek through the store right here, see if there's someone. It's boarded up. I'm not seeing anybody. This door seems to be open. Nobody. No loot notes either. It's odd. It said that there was caution advising that there were some dangerous people in screams here, but... I'm seeing no one as of yet. Let's go ahead and... This is a hide node. Okay, well, let's open this. Okay, we got some information. Horribly mangled. Got a trophy. Oof. We got psychopaths. Is that a loot node? Yeah, it's a loot node. A lot of components that we need. Okay, so we got no one here. Oh god. Oh shit, how do I do this? Get out of here, get out of here, you fuck. Ah, shit! He's too good, oh fuck. I forgot how to fight. I could have done a silent takedown, but I just... Mm. Shit. So yeah, Pavel's dead, and everyone else is gonna be depressed, and we lost materials. <sighs> okay. A very, very sad day 17 as we lay Pavel to rest. Ah, <sighs> killed looking for supplies. Been raided. Luckily, no one took anything. Everyone's sad. He's very hungry. Feel free to read this if you want. Okay, so we're down to two people. Got one hungry, one tired. You're gonna sleep. Bruno needs to eat. And we don't have a weapon anymore. Well, we have the hatchet. So, as for what we're going to actually do to survive now, I don't know. I have no clue what we're going to do. I don't know if there's anything we really can do. Hmm. I know you wouldn't mind another helping, but we're down to two food. Can't really let that happen. So, we're down to absolutely nothing. Hmm. One moment can kind of turn you all the way around and do a complete and total 360 and just straight destroy you. So, I need to... Oh, there's a kid. Can I help you? Um, let's see. Oh. Yeah, you can stay with us. I don't have any food, unfortunately. Why is everyone so fucking sad? Oh, we can play with the kid. Not in the mood. Yeah, I'll agree. Everything's wrong. So once this kid shows up, this is kind of where the game picks off, I guess. Ah, shit. <sighs> you made a promise to the kid and everyone's gonna start dying. Well, first of all, let's go the fuck inside, because there are snipers out here. Six 
62 degrees Fahrenheit, we're still good. Bruno's tired, let's let him sleep. Hey, cat, you get to meet the kid. Yeah, small child. Talk to the lady. No! She hates children. She's jumping upstairs. And you don't want to talk. Okay. You got it. I'm not supposed to play outside because of the stupid soldiers. Well, let's go play outside. Come, child. Let us play outside. <laughs> stupid soldiers. <laughs> They're not going to do anything to me. Can't even hit me. He does this little hop when he turns around. It's so weird. Yeah, that's kind of cute, though. You going to go in the treehouse? Yeah, you're going to go in the treehouse. You're going to walk around because there's nothing in here. Oh, can you play with the rope swing? No? Huh. Not sad. When I was his age, I'd probably be going crazy about a rope swing. And your name is Sergey. Okay, nice to meet you. That's new. What's going on here? Oh, he's... Oh, little hopscotch. Aw, that's cute. Really cute. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything else we can sort of play with around here. So that'll cheer him up, I guess. Is there anything else that'll cheer him up? You want to do drugs? Come on, kid. Just a little bit. Well, hey, if this helps you get over it, then by all means. Rather do something else. What else can you do? You can run outside, get captured by soldiers, right? No? What else could you play? Because I'm not seeing anything up there. Down here, maybe? Alright, so he's awake. Damn, lost Pavel and immediately got a kid. So, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about today. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and... Yeah, I'll go ahead and call this a video pickup next time around once I have some idea of what I'm doing. Like, comment, subscribe, uh, remember Pavel, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.